everyone. Last time I posted, uh, I had just finished making two straight and two angle um, globe valve bodies. The next thing I wanted to tackle was making the bonnets, and I just made the first one. I'll be able to make the, the next three much quicker. Just to show you a couple of things, it's mostly just a lot of fun lathe work, and I'll post some photographs to go along with this, so if you're a YouTube user and you're not familiar, go to, um, just if you just Google Chasky, C-H-A-S-K-I, Home Machinists, you'll find the um, that website, and I'm posting these under a, a PM Research Globe Valve under the Live Steam section. Anyway, as you can probably see, I've got them all anxious to go uh, for the next one. I've got a 5C chuck here, call it chuck. I've got the 3 8 inch hex bar stock brass that they give you. And I just made this one. I'll show you what I made. Did it first, and the still photographs will show. But I, from the bar stock, I turned this round portion first, um, did the undercut down here with the cutoff tool, and then I tapered the um, the rounded portion here that has a five thirty seconds radius. I tapered it using a little uh, diamond tool, which is quite handy. I'll show you that in a second here. Um, it, for getting into tight places, here we go. This is the tangential tool holder, and um, that was very handy. And the other trick that I did was I spent the last few nights while I was waiting on some 640 taps to get here I ground myself a form tool. I had a few high speed steel tool blanks left and I, I used a radius, of, you can find on eBay uh, radius gauges from Starrett. Uh, I had bought a couple of sets for say twenty dollars or so years ago so I you can still see some of the sharpie blue that I just outlined and when I made this thing the, the part was oriented like this, so I could do most of the turning and uh, including putting on that form, using the form tool to put that taper in. I got that all done before I started drilling. You have to do several drilling and tapping operations inside the bonnet. <clears throat> so I did all the exterior forming, if you will, first. Then the last thing I did before I cut it off was to do the drilling and the tapping. Uh, like three separate operations inside the bonnet. Um, then I, I cut it off at the proper distance and then I, I flipped it around. I used a 5 16 round collet. I just put it in there. I replaced the hex collet. used the 5 16 round collet. And um, you don't, I didn't tighten it. I, don't want to, I didn't want to mess up my nice threads here. So uh, what I used, I just snugged it gently in the collet and then when I was using the tailstock die holder over here to cut these threads, I just I held the hex with this 3 8 inch um, ignition wrench. So that held it steady while I was using just manually threading the uh, threaded portion on here. This is a number 1040 thread on the outside. So first bonnet made, I'll crank out a few more in the next uh, few days and then on to the spindle. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know if there's any questions.